Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your U.S. General. Five drawer tool card with side tray and deep compartment. Today is Sunday, as you can see. We now back over at the storage unit, getting back to it, getting busy as always. All right. I did just wake up a little while ago, so I felt the need to get out, you know, and shoot a little footage for the tool community. All right. We are in the early hairy hours of Sunday morning at this prior time of recording. In today's video, I will have a little comparison amongst quite a few things for you in this particular video, all right? But I ain't gonna hold you up too much more longer in the introductory of things. But as I always state as usual, I always keep my signature lingering somewhere in the background. My Dunkin' Donuts coffee. You already know, okay? So pretty much why I just got in, as you can see, I have the tablet over there on the left-hand side of the cart. I was just in a live stream. I'm still covering a live stream at the moment. I'm going to get my tablet up so that we could take a little quick look in on things at the prior moment, and then we're going to dive right into this comparison. Let's get it. So at this time of recording, we are touching into almost uh, roughly about 1 o'clock, 1 a.m. in the morning. As you can see, I'm over here covering the live stream. Um, this is our tool community right here. And, you know, there's quite a few individuals that you see on the screen at the prior moment. All right. That are all YouTube creators. They have their own separate channels. Um, at the prior moment, we're taking a look at Power Stroke Jude's live stream, uh, just as well as Justin Dow, uh, Princess Jamie. We have Miguel Martinez, uh, Midwest Tool Review, uh, Ed the Old Tech Guy, Kate Built It, and Mr. Hillbridge. All right. So at the prior moment, I am looking in on a live stream just as well. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to touch bases and we're going to dive right into this comparison. So let's get it. All right, as I have quite a few things sitting out at the top of the tool card, if you follow the content and you follow my videos, um, the last previous few videos that I did upload, you can basically see, you know, I picked up a couple of things from off the Snap One truck, um, just as well as giving, you know, a little tool haul. In this particular video, I'm going to do a little comparison for those individuals who have been watching the channel for quite some time. They would basically know that, you know, I initially already had an air hammer, which is an IR Ingersoll ran. Um, if you're just now catching up to the videos and you're just now, you know, getting a first bird's eye view and a look in on this channel, I'm going to go through quite a few things real quick and real briefly, uh, give you a little list and description of some of the items that are sitting at the top of the tool cart all right so just over you know this friday as you can see over here i did pick up the snap on super duty air hammer and the part number is ph3050br okay and this is your snap on hammer right here just as well is this is the bits that are provided separately uh from this unit and the part number is PHG1066BK. These air hammer bits are made in the USA, as you can see here. All right. Now, what you're taking a look at over here is just as well as a new model. It's unused. All right. I did have this for quite some time. This is an IR Ingersoll RAN. All right. And the part number is 118 Max K. All right. This is your long barrel, and this is an air hammer kit. As you can see, it provides, um, you know, its bits and things like that within this kit. So, you know, I'm going to get into these bits a little bit just as well as we're going to take a look at some of these bits. I'm going to get the guns out, give you a little comparison, and give you a little description to why I actually went and picked up the snap-on just as well as I also have an Ingersoll ran. all right? Just as well in this video, I'm going to be doing quite a few other different comparisons just as well with uh, quite a few other different items. So walk with me. Let's get it. All right. If you're unfamiliar with the IR Ingersoll RAN uh, Air Hammer, this is a five piece set. OK, which comes with five different chisels just as a quick release um, retainer here. 
um, that is separate that screws into the front barrel. All right. Um, when it came to this particular set here, uh, there was another YouTube creator, good gentleman by the name of Hard Knock Forge, who put out a video uh, quite some time a while back on this same IR right here. Um, you know, when I first picked this up, I picked it up on a humble. Um, my true intention was always, you know, to get the snap on because in the shop I used to work with all the craftsmen uh, that initially came in like a two piece set, which was actually a short barrel. All right. Um, there is two different versions that uh, Ingersoll Ram provides in this particular air hammer, which is also a short barrel. All right. Um, I believe they have one that is uh, low vibration and things like that of that nature. All right. Um, just to give you a little quick look, if you didn't catch uh, the last video to the snap on, once again, the part number is PH3050B. All right. Um, when it comes to this Ingersoll right here, there was one thing that I noticed, you know, from off the gate when I first received the kit is that, you know, I did not necessarily like these bits that are provided with this set here. Okay. So, you know, it's not to say that anything is wrong with the gun itself. Okay. But some of the bits that is provided, uh, with this set, I believe that the specifications for them do not necessarily match the tool. All right. At some particular times or another, you may run into reviews from other content creators or channels, whether, you know, whether professional, sometimes you have videos that are put out by DIYers. So you always want to get the correct information because you can run into a particular tool review or demonstration in a video and you may find some individuals who may come across certain particular tools or, you know, they mishandle or misuse the tool or may not necessarily understand the specifications of the tool. So therefore, upon first use, you know, a lot of times they find a lot of issues or a lot of faults and you may come across an individual who may possibly say, you know, just to give you an example that, you know, this Ingersoll ran is garbage because the first time that I purchased it and I used it, you know, I shared off or I snapped multiple bits and the bits do not necessarily work with the tool. So you may have an individual who may not necessarily understand or know that there's technically not nothing wrong with the gun is the point of the fact that the bits that are provided with the gun you understand are not as durable or can take the impacts from the hammer ring of the air hammer itself so sometimes you may necessarily need to make an adjustment or upgrade to more higher standard bits when i first got this ingersoll ran and i noticed you know the bits that came along with it you know my intention was to get a set of old forge if you're familiar with uh usa made old forge bits or mayhew bits okay um when it comes to some of these air hammers not all bits are equal and not all bits may fit uh certain particular guns depending upon the shank and things like that once again some of these air hammers is designed a little bit differently some are shorter than others so that's something that you know you have to um take into consideration uh just to give you an idea with some of these tools that are out on the market um when it comes to certain particular kits and some of the accessories that are provided with the kits uh quite some time ago maybe roughly about two years ago um, you know, I relocated from one state to another and I didn't have all my equipment with me. So I uh, basically needed, uh, what was that, a quarter inch hex impact driver. All right. Just something not too expensive or anything like that. I needed something real cheap just to get me through um, a particular job or two. In the process, I used that same quarter inch impact gun to assemble um, this five drawer U.S. General tool cart. All right. I did not necessarily put a wrench to this tool cart. So when I assembled the cart, the cart is assembled um, very firm and tight like there's uh, no flex or, you know, anything like that where the put it this way the fasteners are really locked in really really tight okay um when i first purchased that uh impact driver i think it was a local walmart that i picked it up from and i purchased it for real cheap and it was by the brand of uh what was that um hyper tough 
okay? I think I only paid roughly about $40, all right? Because you know some of these cordless impacts are very expensive in the high hundreds, especially when it comes to either two-truck brand or off-two-truck brands such as Milwaukee and things like that. Some of the impact guns that you would see down there, you know, when it comes to the battery platform, some of the battery platforms over exceed the price of the amount of a lot of the tools themselves, okay? But when I did pick up that quarter-inch hex hyper-tough um, impact driver, as soon as I used it upon first use, it came with a certain amount of bits. And I think that I snapped all of the bits. But the one thing that I noticed off the rip was is that the tool was an excellent tool. And it did everything that I necessarily needed it to do. It was just unfortunately that the bits was provided with the kit itself weren't durable enough to withstand the impacts okay and the specifications as far as what the tool was putting out in force so i had to upgrade to different um quarter inch hex shanks all right i think i started using uh milwaukee hex shanks on a hyper tough impact driver so in the same similar situation when it came to this air hammer i did purchase this air hammer um quite some time ago once again this is new this uh ir has been purchased throughout the periodic time that my equipment has been in a storage unit okay so from the beginning of that time till now, I haven't had a prior use to use it just at the prior moment, but I am about to go back to work. So, you know, like I said, when I purchased this, I purchased this on a humble, all right? But this was an item that my true intentions was to always get. I'm always on a snap-on truck. I'm always eyeballing a lot of different items and things like that. When I am on a snap-on truck, it's not a game. Like when I'm on that truck, you know, I'm really taking care of serious business. I'm never really walking off the truck, you know, with miscellaneous items and things like that. When I come off the truck, I come off the truck with thousands of dollars worth of things. Um, Just over this Friday, you know, in the last previous video, you know, I showed just a couple of items, whatever the case might be. But my true intention was to walk away and come off the truck with more than a few handfuls of equipment. The issue was is that I just wasn't trying to carry everything in hand. So this week coming up, I will, you know, be going into the tool truck and picking up the few things that are left behind and so on and so forth. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a look at this Ingersoll Rand Air Hammer just as well as we're going to take a look at the Snap-on. All right. Once again, this is a long barrel. We're going to get a comparison, you know, side by side. I'm going to get things from off the top of the tool cart. I'm going to get these bits out so that we can take a look at these USA made Snap-on bits compared to you know the Ingersoll Ram bits because you know IR is a top of the line brand just as well as Snap-on when it comes to Snap-on's bits you know they're basically one of the best in the market when it comes to their bits and warranty and things like that all right so walk with me let's get it so just to give you a little quick side-by-side -side comparison all right the Ingersoll Rand and the Snap-on is roughly coming in uh, about the same length, okay? Um, the angle that I'm providing at the prior moment, you may be able to possibly see it, you may not. When it comes to the Ingersoll Rand's uh, front end of the barrel, it is thinner, okay, than the Snap-on. The Snap-on is a little bit more bulkier and a little bit more wider. Um, when it comes to the handle, as you can see, Snap-on provides like a, a hard grip um, to their particular gun, just as well as IR always stays standard with their handles. Their handles are no different from their impact guns, whether it's a 3 8 drive in or a half inch drive. All right. So that is one thing to notice. Uh, once again, when it comes to the quick extended um, chuck here all right it may provide more length where that the ir is coming in a little bit more longer than the snap on as you can see all right so that is another thing that i want you to take notice to real quick because this is not screwed on on the front all right just to give you you know some of the quick um specifications of this particular air hammer you can see the contents here 
just as well as the part number. As you can also notice that the tool is made in Taiwan and the chisels are made in China. Okay, so this is a difference that I want individuals to understand about this product. Okay, because if they don't know to look you know, where some of these different things come from. You know, when you see one name's brand, as you can tell, the tool itself was made in Taiwan, but the bits were made in China. So maybe that's a possibility that the specifications is wrong for what the tool can actually push in that the bits cannot withstand the tool. So this was some of the same things that I was trying to explain about the quarter inch um, hyper tough impact driver. All right. So just so to say, sometimes when you may possibly get certain particular equipment that come with accessories and accessories do not necessarily work well with the tool. That's not to say that, you know, that the tool is bad. All right. You have to get an understanding and know what the tool is basically capable of. All right. Those are the different type of understandings that you need to get before you start putting out content and putting out videos to state that, you know, this particular tool is trash or this doesn't work or, you know, you advise this or you advise that. All right. Because I'd have been a fool to turn around and say, well, you know, this IR is trash because the bits don't work. All right. That basically don't necessarily make sense. All right. All right, now moving along to the snap-on bits. They always come in like these pouches that you would see here, which have Velcro straps, all right? Um, as you could take notice here, the pouch number is PAKKB098, and the set itself is PHG1066BK. All right. When it comes to um, the snap on bits, you know, they have different versions of these bits here. This is um, like the silver chrome finish style bits, just as well as like they have a gold uh, set and they have an industrial finish um, black impact set just as well. All right. Um, what I do need to pick up uh, that I keep forgetting is uh, what is that? The pickle fork um, shanks for the snap on um, air hammer. I have pickle forks, but I don't have um, the necessary pickle fork for this particular gun. So that is something that I have to remind myself when I am on a snap on truck to, you know, get from my deal and things like that. But when it comes to the snap on bits, these are high quality design bits all right that are designed to withstand the impacts it's not to say that you know some of these cannot break just as well you know anything made by man is always you know bound to fail or bound to break but with the design of these right here they are um durable enough to withstand you know day in day out 365 days abuse um when it comes to something like these compared to as you can take notice to um, this type of finish, which is like a, a, a grayish type finish. Another thing that I always want you to take notice to is that when you're using air hammer equipment just as well as cordless impacts or air pneumatic impacts, always wear your safety goggles. They are very, very important. All right. You want to maintain your eyes and maintain your hands and fingers and things just like that of that nature, especially when using um, certain air pneumatic impact equipment. All right. So this is the set um, that is provided by Snap-on. This is a six piece set here. All right. It comes with, you know, different uh measurement size lengths they come with different shanks and different chisels and things like that of that nature uh once again this is for hammering purpose purposes if i can get it out it's always hard you have to pardon me it's always hard to do things with one hand and trying to hold the camera it's not like you know i have a um tripod stand or you know like 
these are professional shot videos. I do all of these videos on one take. There's no editing or any special uh, software for any of these videos. I just try to do my best to, you know, to display and give the content to the viewers. Once again, I'm not um, sponsored by any tool brand or anything like that. These are all my own personal tools, personal equipment. You can go back into previous videos that I have put out in the past. You will see, you know, when I first purchased this, when I unboxed it, you know, where I may have possibly got it from during the time. Um, as you can see with Snap-on, their air ham is provided in a box, but um, Ingersoll Rands is provided in a blow molded case. Um, and you see they have like their plastic latches. These latches are right, but they're not... Um, I may say as durable as some other blow molded cases that you may possibly have out there. All right. Once again, the part number for this item is 118 MAXK. All right. For some of those younger technicians out there, uh, what I will state is that this particular gun set right here is a more um, budget friendly set. It has a little premium, but it's not as high as the snap one that you would see over here. You can basically pick up um, this Ingersoll Rand set right here, I believe, for like under $150, all right? This whole complete set with the bits, all right? But I would advise that if you do go to purchase this particular hammer, you may be able to possibly just buy the gun separate without the bits, all right? But I would advise that you switch the bits if you do purchase this set um, compared to a gun like the Snap-on. The Snap-on runs, you know, over $400, a little bit less than $500 just for this gun, okay? Just as well as the bits are very expensive, but because, you know, I made multiple purchases from off the truck, my Snap-on dealer, he always gives me a deal, so he gave me a good deal on these bits but these bits you know can run you in the range of you know over two hundred dollars a little underneath three hundred dollars just for these six bits okay so that's something to keep into consideration because everything that you would see over here would be running in a range of seven hundred dollars if not a little bit over seven hundred dollars compared to a set like this that is basically roughly underneath a hundred and fifty dollars all right all right, so I'm going to have to end this video right about now. I did want to go through quite a few other different things, but what I'm going to have to do is going to have to break the video up into a part two. All right, so everybody enjoy the rest of your weekend out there. Keep it a safe and a blessed one. As always, this is your U.S. General. Five draw two card with side tray and deep compartment into that next two review, that next two haul, that next modification video. We're going to check you later. Peace.